Hey, Cassie here. I've just come back from a networking meeting and had a big aha and I wanted to share this with you because I think this will help you in your business too. So we were talking about what help we needed in our business and I said, well, I've got a situation where it's not about business, it's about home stuff or it's about money mindset and manifestation. And it was really interesting, the feedback from around the table. And of course, the advice was around um meditating, using EFT, emotional freedom technique. Um, and then one lady said, and this really resonated with me, one lady said, you know, this is part of a really big up level and you fully stepping into your power. And this is the universe showing you that you're ready for this next big step. And it was such an aha because it's something I have felt within me. And you know how sometimes you feel things, but they're almost in the background and then they sort of bubble up. But here's the thing, when when you find yourself in a challenging situation, whether it's business or life, I want you to think about two things. The first one is when you, you know, when that ch challenge arises, all the stress hormones, the cortisol, the adrenaline rise up and you know, you feel triggered, your your nervous system is is agitated and you feel all those feelings. And what happens when you're in that state sort of biochemically is that that disconnects you from your higher self, your intuition, your creativity. And that's where all the answers are. So you, we all have the answers within us, but we can't access them when we're in that state of agitation and, and feeling stressed. So the first thing we need to do, in fact, before we do the first thing, being human, here's what I want to tell you <laughs> in reality. So when I feel triggered, the first thing I do is I allow myself, I give myself permission to shout and scream. And normally, actually, for me, <laughs> if I'm honest, swear, lots of swearing. But we're human, right? So give yourself permission to let out those surface emotions. If you need to scream or shout or swear, do that first. Then, once we've got rid of that, and I don't know about you, I used to, when I get really triggered, I used to stay, I could stay in that state for days of, and in my brain, I'd be replaying it and replaying it and replaying it and getting more and more agitated and really blaming this person or the situation or whatever had happened. And just, it's like you keep yourself in this energetic rut where you can't get out of it and you're in a really negative space. So what we need to do first of all is to soothe our nervous system. So as I say, there's lots of different ways to do this, but meditation's really, really good. Just sit in your own energy in complete quiet for five, 10 minutes and just breathe. If any thoughts come to you, just imagine they're clouds and they're just floating away and just bring yourself back to your breath. You can do breath work. There's lots of different types of breath work you can do where it actually doesn't matter what you do. But the idea is that if when you focus on your breath, you're bringing yourself into the present moment and your brain is thinking about, let's say you're doing box breath in for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold out for four. So you're doing up, across, down, across. So it's called box breath. When you do box breath, your brain is thinking one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold down, hold out, two, three, four. So you can't be thinking about all the stuff that's stressing you because your brain's occupied. So that's a really good way to pattern interrupt that stress and just uh, regulate your nervous system a bit. And then here's the thing. Once you've managed to get yourself back in that place where you feel a bit calmer, a bit more centered and grounded, then you're, you're reconnecting to your intuition, your higher self, then you can ask questions. And here's another really interesting thing about the situation when you feel challenged is often, because things are always working for us, it might not seem like it at the time, but I can promise you they are. Sometimes we have to, it's a bit like, you know, and you say you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Sometimes we have to go through that breaking of the eggs, which might feel like a complete, really shitty situation or a real disaster at the time. But actually there's something better and bigger and something worth 
breaking the eggs for on the other side. We just can't see it. And we have to just trust that we are breaking the eggs to make an omelette. And, and I know that can be a really hard concept if you feel like someone else has broken your eggs. It's one thing if you break the eggs, isn't it? Because you're in the driving seat. It can be really, really hard if you feel like someone else is doing that to you. So obviously it depends on the situation. But here's another side, another angle to think about. The universe is going to send agents, call them agents of the universe, to bring us opportunities to grow, to bring us the lessons. We're here to have fun, but also to, to grow and learn lessons in life. So sometimes these things are lessons that we need to learn. And quite often that involves other people. And here, <laughs> if you don't learn the lesson the first time round, you're going that lesson's going to come back. And this is why, again, sometimes, you know, when, what do they say about different uh, relationships that don't work? It's like, different face same per same boyfriend or same partner so you're just repeating those same patterns but with a different person but you're you're not learning the lessons yet and that's why the patterns keep showing up and the universe is going to keep sending you these challenges and these lessons until you learn the lesson and start doing something differently and until you shift something inside of you so in this process where we're regulating and, and soothing our nervous system and reconnecting to our higher selves, once you feel more connected and, and grounded, then you can ask, you know, what am I meant to learn from this? Is, is this something that I should learn from? What is this teaching me? How is this helping me grow? Um, is this something I can help other people with as well? If you're a coach, uh, like I am, maybe this is something that you need to learn so that you can help other people through this process too. And there's another silver lining, isn't there, that you've had to break those eggs to get to the other side of the situation and into a different place than where you are now. And maybe you can't help other people to do that if you haven't experienced that it, that process and that challenge yourself and I'm a really strong believer in that so yeah it can be really tough if you're in a facing a challenging time at the moment I completely you know empathize with you life is just full of ups and downs but hopefully this process will help you to reframe the situation and the last thing I want to say is about taking radical self-responsibility for everything. It's very easy to take responsibility when things are going well and we're getting great results and we're, yeah, yay, it's working, I'm, I'm doing the right thing, it's all fantastic. And then, you know, the shit hits the fan, something happens and it's very easy. Instead of taking responsibility and saying, okay, this is something, this is part of my growth, my journey, this is something that I've attracted in some way. There is some silver lining, even if I can't see it yet. Instead of that, what we can do, what sometimes people do is they will blame. They'll get angry. They'll blame other people. They'll blame the government. They'll blame, you know, the price of food in the supermarkets, whatever it is. Um... And I'm not trying to belittle anybody or any situation that you might be in, but I'm just, it's, it is true that you have to take responsibility for everything in your life. So good and bad. And that's part of this up-leveling process. And it's part of this raising consciousness and, and shifting into a higher frequency where you have a, it's like going up in an escalator or going up an elevator where you can see a life and opportunities and things for you which you can't see when you're down in those lower levels. And yeah, sometimes it can be a painful process of, of rising up through those levels and getting to, you know, getting that higher view of life, the universe and everything. So I hope that's been helpful. I'm going to be sharing lots more around strategy the energetics behind marketing content, human design. So subscribe, hit the subscribe button and I will speak to you soon. Take care.